Good evening my YouTube fans. Uh, nice to have you back with me. Something interesting uh, is going to be going on in a minute. I told you in times past that my channel is going to be quite diverse. Well as you can see the selection of stuff that's on the wall, on, not on the wall, that's on the um, YouTube channel of mine. Uh, I've got quite a few things going on but it's something a little bit different. Um, the story is, I'll just come down a bit now. What are these dirty mucky boxes? I hear you ask. Well I shall tell you. What these are, uh, is a surprise for you. And what it is, my grandson is absolutely mad on trains. And so when I was a little boy, I had a train set. As we all did. I'm 62 now. And so, because my grandson's getting a little bit older now, he's mad on Thomas the Tank and what have you. But, what I decided to do was dig my old train set out. And although it's a little bit too uh, sophisticated for him at the moment, I thought about maybe starting a um, channel up on trains, because there's a lot of stuff out there on model trains. So this is to put the eyes uh, on stalks of those that are already interested in model trains because you're going to like this. I'm sure you are. This is a box of my stuff. I've dug it out of the attic. You can see with the dust on it, it's been there for years. What's in the box? What's in the box? Open it up, open it up. All right, all right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, this is only a, a box of bits. My, my dad's dead now. Uh, and he was supposed to fix these when I was a kid and never got round to it. But for all you enthusiasts out there, if this is what I think it is, this is something that never got fixed. Open the box, open the box. All right, all right, there you go. That is an old oh, West. I haven't. I, I can't. I can't have touched these in. 30, 40 years, this is exactly how they come out. This, my dad was supposed to fix this. Um, what a shame though, look at that. But I've been interested in other things over the years. I, I, uh, I didn't do much with my trains. But as I say, I'm thinking of putting something together now. Oh, look at that. You're all thinking, I'd like that, I'd like that. Yeah, well, I've, I've got it. So anyway, that's for repair. I think that used to be a smokestack there. You put oil in there and it got warmed and uh, warm inside there and it chuffed out. Chuff, 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 chuff. So that's a Davy Crockett. All right, so what, that's in there, look. Even as the original packaging, the box it came, look, 10 shillings. What happened was, my dad used to take me down, as a little boy, he used to take me down to an old second hand shop and he used to buy me carriages and bits and bats and what have you. And uh, that's how my train thing grew. But that's a cracking, isn't it? Go west. <laughs> wow, this brings back memories. So you're on memory lane with me, actually. Wow. Now... Oh, look at these, look at these pictures here, look. Whew. See the prices on them. I bet this is worth something, this, this original Triang... Uh, poster, as it were. <coughs> There's even prices on them, look. Is that seven and seven? No. No, oh, no, look. Eleven pence. A shilling. For track pins and... Ten pence and... Wow. Oh, this is, this is weird, man, as I say. This is stuff that were put away years ago. I'm 62 now, so I mean, this were bought for me when I were around about 10. 
So although these these things were second down that my dad bought I me, mean, they were that were fifty years ago. <clears throat> that really makes these things old. That's my old Triang power supply. I remember trains used to go you could go one way or other. But when uh, my dad got hold of it and my uncle and I didn't get a look in so right moving on then what we got in the box oh, God, my hands are filthy. old railway track oh, look it's, it's breaking apart So you used to dislodge the, uh, unhook the carriages. It used to go in uh, uh, two, two circles, an inner and an outer. And then you'd throw a switch and it would cross over onto the inner one. And I had a junction off going to a, an old mine. I'm doing this one handed, I'm not I'm not putting it on a tripod. Is that a diesel electric oh, diesel electric? I used to like that. Lights used to come on it. I think I've got carriages for that. Yeah. I need more room. I need more room. Yeah. Just put that there. Yes, you are you seeing them as I see? Oh, oh yeah. There's there's the uh, that's the motor. Oh, is that heavy? <laughs> that's a beauty, isn't it? Yeah, I think these will be worth a few bob now. If anybody's looking at these and they know the value of them, give us a shout. Make a comment below. <laughs> What else? Oh. They're rusty because it's damp where they've been. Yes. It used to be quite a big truck. It used to go on an eight eight by four board. More. What's in the parcel? What's in the parcel? Right, well, I'll show you. I'll show you. I know you're getting excited. Oh, look at that. That's Princess Victoria. Now oh, that's heavy. That's a real heavy one. I have seen other trains in shops over the years, but they never looked as solid as what these are. And they really are. There were nothing wrong with these trains. They worked as I left them. I don't know much about train um, motors whether you can spray WD on them and whatever uh, where can I put them? Uh, I'll put that there don't worry about that, it's just my phone going off that's people from eBay saying I'll buy them, I'll buy them no don't panic, they're not on eBay <laughs> He said never go on eBay, I'd never sell them. Ah, well, hold on, what's, what's that one? Um, 
my eyesight is terrible. Another, another Princess Elizabeth. Just like that. Cool. Obviously these weren't a real good clean up. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just having a little cough. <laughs> he still held with the excitement. What's he got in there? What's he got in there? Well, let's have a look, shall we? I think I'll go make a cup of tea and come back to this one. What do you think? No! No! Open the box! Open the box! Hmm. Shall I make a cup of tea and keep you in suspense? Nah, I won't be so cruel. I won't be so cruel. Here we go. Let's have a look. Another one. Now let's open it. Let's in another Princess Elizabeth. Right, what's that one? Um, I don't know what it is. It's an... It, how many Princess Elizabeths did I need? Look at that. It's just a black one. Why are they all Princess Elizabeth? I have no idea. I have no idea, viewer. But there you are. There's even numbers on it. So, hang on. Um, if there is any real anoraks watching this and they know anything about these locomotives, are the numbers significant on these models as they are on, uh, on proper trains? That's 46201. 46201. Mm, no number on that one. No number on that one. Mm, sadly, no number on that one. Oh, hang on, there is one on this side. <coughs> Just coughing again. Hang on. Uh, 8P46205. So if anybody knows if there's any significance to these engine numbers on these models, uh, as I said, put a notice in, in the link below. Please, let me know. Because uh, you got to remember, I was only a kid when I had these. I was only a kid. Right. What else is there? So... Standard. I, you know, I used to go to seaside in uh, on these. As many of you that are watching this will remember. Uh, anybody in Yorkshire, when you used to go, you used to go on club trip. If your parents belonged to a local working men's club, they used to give kids a day out, and you used to get given a pound, a proper pound note, and you could get uh, free. Well, you got a packet of crisps with it and a bottle of pop, and you went to the seaside and these are carriages that you went in. Ah, oh, that's magnificent. That brings back memories. Uh, yeah, what else we got? A uh, little car transporter. Um, that's an American one, is that? I think that goes with that diesel electric. That's a... It's not a sleeper cab, is it? No, it's not a sleeper cab. Uh, there's numbers underneath them. Ah, uh, here's another one. Now then, if there's anybody in Wales that knows out about these carriages and, and wants a bit of nostalgia, if you go to Betsy Coyd, um, go over the railway line at Betsy Coyd, behind the shops, and you'll see one of these. And they've turned it into a cafe. And it's been stood there for years. And there is a little railway outside for the children, you know, to go around on, on a, a model railway. And there is a model railway shop. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry about the coughing. And yeah, you can go sit in one of them and uh, have a cup of tea and a and a meal and what have you. They've turned it into a cafe, and I love it when I go because it, as I say, it brings back memories. Um, that's one of the doofies that goes behind the princess. There's a black one. The black railway carriage, yeah, not carriage, uh, rolling stock. 
And that. What we got here? No, I think that's for the mine. I've got an old mine. That one's for the American one. The American diesel. That's got numbers. Right. Okay, so we've had a look at them. Oh, when my grandson sees it, that's real rolling stock, isn't it? That's all there is. I don't know what that's dropped off. <laughs> right. So, there's the Hodge Modger trains. We'll put these over here for now. I'm sorry if this isn't all in sync because I am having problems with my um, editing suite, but I am putting. I'm getting another computer and I'm getting another editing suite. I'm putting Edius on because I'm fed up with this. This is NCH software, so I advise you not to buy NCH software because it's rubbish. It's rubbish, I tell you. So, them goes in there. Any noise in the background, it's, uh, it's the missus, she's come to make a cup of tea, because I'm monopolising the kitchen. Mm. I did say I was going to leave you and make a cup of tea, but I won't. I won't. No, then. I'm sure I've got... Uh, just bits of train stuff. For the side of the track. Bits of trees. Just bits of trees and what have you. Um, oh, that's a crane for the mine. That goes. Oh, look, yeah, look at that. Cooler. Eh? That goes on there like that. And I'll come down to that. Remember, it's all one handed, is this? I'm even looking to get a new camera. I've been looking tonight. I got some out on eBay. I gave them their asking price. And then as soon as uh, I bid on it, they took it off. Badens. Because if you notice on me stuff I've got, there's some purple dots at the bottom of my camera. But I do love this one. So there you have it. There's a, there's a nice crane. What else have we got? What are you doing with your camera, missus? A little station. Now, interestingly, my wife's dad, he used to work in one of them, pulling levers, but if you look inside, there's no levers. <laughs> yeah, they're right, cushy job. And then it's... Oh. I must have some more boxes somewhere because I know that I've got an old mine. And there's uh, one of the old stations. Have oh, you got your tickets? Tickets, please. What's in that? I don't know. Oh, grandson's going to go ape when he sees this lot. He's going to love it. So I'm going to start again. I'm going to get an 8x4 board. Uh, and then I'm going to put all these on. I mean,. He, he won't be able to fiddle, like he can have a little go with dial, but it, obviously he can't touch the trains. But it'll blow his mind. I loved it. But what happened with me, because it went on a, an 8x4 board, if my dad were in a good mood, he'd bring it down from upstairs. If he'd come back from pub and I could catch him in right mood, he'd bring it down and put it in front room for me. And then I'd be able to have a play. But it, it wasn't something that was up permanently. So they kind of spoiled it really, because I, uh, I couldn't have it up all the time. That's part of an engine shed, isn't it? I'm trying to talk to you, listener, and uh, I'm getting excited about this stuff that I've seen for the first time in donkey's years. It just brings back so many memories. Yeah, I've been watching on YouTube. Um, yeah. Oh, that is a uh, bit of an old Anderson shot, isn't it? I've been watching on YouTube people making their um, layouts. 
So I'd have to look for ideas again to set this out. But I used to, have, I didn't have a bad layout years ago. But anyway, I think that's it for now. I'm going to put this up on. Oh, was that a bad attempt to? Oh no, roof just broke. That's all. Just thought it was a bad attempt to put in something together. It is an old kit. Visit Scotland. Hey, drive straight through it. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I used to work in Scotland. You're all right. You're all right. If there's any Scotch uh, enthusiasts watching this, when I used to weld for BP, I used to work up at uh, Grangemouth and stop at Stirling. Yeah, right. Okay then, friends. What's in that? Oh, I think that'll just be some old stuff at track. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, it's, it's grit for track. Not a lot in it. That's empty. So, my YouTube fans, and maybe my new ones, that's it. You've gone a trip down memory lane with me. You say, ah, that's on, that goes on front of that thing that we broke. Yeah, where is it? You've had a trip down memory lane with me, and you've seen what I've seen um, from nigh on 40 years. Yeah, I think that goes. Yeah, that goes on there like that. Like that. Oh, other, other way around. Oh, no, that ain't it, innit? Which is the piece that I've just had. Where's it gone? I bet she's whipped off with it. Are you sure? Hmm. Oh, I've got the piece missing. Where you know that? Did you see where it went, listener, viewer? I had a piece where it was broke on top, and it looked. I said it's a. It looked like a bad job. Oh, is that it? That's it. That. Sorry, I apologise, dear. I apologise. Yeah, that went on there like that. <laughs> Vast. Cool, eh? So, as I say, viewer, I won't keep you out at loop. Uh, what I intend to do is make a layout. I mean, obviously, it won't be brilliant, um, but it'll be enough for grandkids to enjoy and get me mine up. Uh, I'll have to go searching for my mind because it was a massive thing. Watch me hand go up. A massive thing. And it was really good because I used to pull all carriages into there and there were bits of coal and what have you. And... So, yeah. So, there's your lot. Okay, thanks for uh, being with me this evening. I hope to see you again. If you like what you see on, on my channel, as I say, it is diverse. There's plenty of stuff going on. Um, just like and subscribe at the bottom. And uh, it'd be nice to have you along with me. And pass me on to other people as well, if you've got friends that are interested in the same things I am. Show them my channel. Thanks very much. I shall see you again. That's all for now.